The she-wolf brought a dog puppy into the pack. You won't believe what they did to him. This female wolf wanted nothing more than to be a mother, but she lost all of her pups. Then she did something that no one saw coming. She welcomed a dog into the pack as one of her own. For many months, this pregnant she-wolf and her mate, the Alpha, looked forward to the birth of their pups. They were the leaders of the pack and had spent many years caring for the youngest members. These wolves had always wanted to be parents. However, things didn't always go according to plan. Unfortunately for these mates, their pups didn't survive. Shortly after giving birth, She-Wolf fell into a deep depression as she grieved at the loss of her pups. She stopped communicating with the other pack wolves, instead spending all of her time curled up on the ground. She didn't have the energy to move, let alone eat. The female wolf grew weaker and thinner as the days passed. The alpha wolf was upset not only because of losing his pups, but also because he empathized with his mate, even though he was also heartbroken being the Alpha meant he had to look after the pack to guide and protect them regardless of his personal feelings. That is why he continued to lead the hunts, despite his wish to stay by his mate's side. After every hunting trip, the devoted Alpha would return to his mate. Worrying for her health, he would regularly offer her fresh meat. But the she-wolf refused every time. Instead of eating, she would turn away from the food. Nevertheless, the Alpha wouldn't stop trying. Wolves mate for life, and just like the vows said during a wedding ceremony, these mates would be there for each other, in sickness and in health. During one of the Alpha's hunting trips, he came across something that he would have never expected to see in the woods. The Alpha had entered the deep area of the woods with his fellow pack members. While they hunted the rabbits and squirrels, the Alpha followed the faint cry of a young animal. It sounded just like a wolf, but his instinct told him that it wasn't. Curious, he got closer to the bushes, which seemed to be the source of the whining. Using one of his paws, he pushed some of the bushes' leaves aside, revealing the small creature hiding within. The alpha wolf peered closely at the puppy in the bushes. He had been hunting for several years and had explored most of the woods, and yet this wolf had never seen a dog puppy in this area. The alpha couldn't sense anyone close by. It seemed as if the newborn puppy had been abandoned. Taking pity on the little thing, the Alpha pulled the pup out of the bushes and carried it back to his pack's settlement. When he arrived, the first wolf to approach him was his mate. He was amazed at the sight. It turned out that she could smell the young pup from far away. The Alpha lowered the dog to the ground and almost immediately his female came over to nurse it. The most unexpected thing happened next. The she-wolf brought a dog puppy into the pack, choosing to adopt it. Her decision may have been quick, but her mate supported it. He wanted to make his female happy. The pack also had a surprising reaction when they met the little dog. You won't believe what they did to him. Even though dogs and wolves are more like enemies than friends, the whole pack was very accepting. It seemed as if the presence of the young pup had cured the she-wolf from her illness. She was happier than ever. Everyone else in the pack took turns in playing with the pup or teaching it. Soon, the puppy grew up to become a great hunter. In fact, being raised by wolves seemed to transform the timid pup into a fierce creature. The dog may have come from a line of domesticated animals, but this one was just as strong as its friends from the wild. Time passed and things seemed to be going great in the pack. However, as much as the Alpha adored his new son, he was also aware that dogs didn't belong in the wild. Even though the last thing he wanted to do was let his pup go, he knew that the best thing for the dog was to find a home with humans. His mate was heartbroken to say goodbye to her adopted son, but she also believed it was for the best. A few of the best hunters joined the dog to walk him back to where the Alpha first found him. Early in the morning, this teenage boy wandered around the woods to get some fresh air. Out of nowhere, the dog came up to the boy, as if asking for help. The boy was excited. He had always wanted a pet, and this lonely dog looked as if it needed a place to stay. When the boy leaned down to hug the dog, he noticed several other paw prints trailing behind the animal. The boy may have been young, but he had been taught enough about the wild to recognize the prints as belonging to wolves. The boy took the dog back to his house and introduced it to his father. During his youth, the man had been very fond of dogs. He instantly identified this mysterious dog's breed as a husky which had always been one of his favorites. 
When the father asked where the animal had come from, the son paused. He wanted his father to accept this dog, and he was worried that the wolf paw prints might be connected to it. The man hunted wolves and thought they were dangerous creatures. So the son lied to his father and told him he found the dog outside their house as if someone had left him there. The dad didn't suspect a thing. After taking the husky in as their new pet, the boy wanted to give it a name. He decided to call the dog Akito. The dog seemed to like his new name. Akito and the boy formed a friendship instantly. Even though the canine enjoyed its time with the wolves, there was something about spending time with humans that felt very natural to him. The father appreciated Akito's strong personality and good hunting skills. He had owned several dogs in his lifetime, but he had never come across one that could hunt as effectively as this one. Not only were Akito's senses able to detect small animals from far away, he was great at catching them. The common interest between the man and the dog brought them closer. Akito respected the father, viewing him as his owner. It is a well-known fact that dogs are very loyal to their owners and those they consider family. Have you ever witnessed a dog's loyalty? Nevertheless, Akito could not support one of the man's most important interests. Akito could not hunt wolves. The father had noticed that whenever they would go hunting together, Akito would avoid wolf dens or would immediately retreat as soon as he could sense other canines in the area. The man simply assumed that the dog was too scared to fight another animal as large as himself. One evening, the father took both his son and the wolf out for a hunting trip. It was the first time his son had come along with him, but he believed that the boy was mature enough to handle the wild. Both the son and the father carried guns in their hands. Suddenly, the group heard growling from behind them. When they turned around, they saw a gray wolf approaching them. More noises came from their sides. From his peripheral vision, the man could see several wolves walking towards them. The group was surrounded. The man swiftly raised his rifle and aimed it at the largest animal in sight. It turned out to be the leader of the pack. Akito recognized the Alpha as the wolf who had once adopted him. The dog jumped to stand between the gun and the wolf. The boy told his father to lower the gun, and after some hesitation, the man followed his son's request. Akito dropped to the ground, exposing his stomach to the wolves, which is a sign of submission. The Alpha leaned closer to the dog, taking in its scent. After almost a year, the wolf father and his dog son were reunited. The reunion couldn't last long, however, because they were in the woods at night and the humans were at risk. The dog was grateful for his pack and his parents, but he chose to stay with his human family. Ever since that day, the son swore to never harm a wolf. Thanks so much for listening. What was your favorite part of this story? Tell us what you thought of the video below in the comments section. And if you want to see more videos like this, don't forget to like and subscribe. I hope to see you again in the next video.